Hey yo, what's up my people, how you doing? I hope you are great and welcome back. So today let's see how we can install and configure the Java GDK inside Ubuntu Linux. So let's go straight to the business. Uh, first of all, you have to open your favorite browser. In this case, I'm using this Firefox. And you can go ahead and type GDK. Let's type GDK like this one. Press enter and you will wait for the search results. I bet the first link will be the, uh, the link for the official website of the Java or the Oracle which is which provide us with this Java GDK. Uh, you can go ahead and press on the first link and you can see the current version is 17. When the site is ready, this is the first interface that you will see. So we are going to go ahead and navigate to see where there is the download link. Let's scroll down and as we, I was telling you, we are going to try this on Ubuntu Linux and Ubuntu is a Debian based distribution. So we'll go ahead and choose this link here, which is the Debian package for 64 bit. My OS is 64 bit. Uh, you can also see the current version is 17 for the, uh, the time of recording this video. So don't get twisted when you are seeing that uh, this seems like outdated. You can uh, choose whatever version available, the processes and the installation uh, techniques are the same. Go ahead and click here. And it will start like this. We, have, we are going to save the file, press OK. And as the download is going on, you can check for the previous installation to see if there is no uh, current learning Java GDK on our system. So to do that, uh, open your terminal by pressing Ctrl RT. You can use another method that you like to use. After the terminal is here, let's zoom a little bit. Uh, type uh, Java version like this. Uh, you see there is no java installed it is suggesting us to install these packages but you're not going to do that we are going to wait for our download to be done and we come and show you how to install this one uh, we install the gdk not the open gdk as it was suggesting here so this show that in our system doesn't have any java running on Wonderful, now our file is ready, so we are not going to perform the manual installation like of the windows, of course we are going to use the terminal again. Mm, go ahead and navigate to the download folder, downloads folder in this case, and list the content file, you can see we have only one file in there, this is the GDK for the Renax. To install this one, we will use this command sudo, or use the dpkg. Um, like this one and we give the option of i which is stand for install i bet uh, and we put the gdk fire after we press enter to ask for my password let me put it real quick and press enter and let us wait for a little bit Okay, and now you can see the installation is now done and you are not done yet. You have to configure other things. And the first thing that we are going to do is to update the alternatives. There is a, a bunch of long commands I have right here. So I will provide the file. So uh, I will provide all these commands so that you can copy and paste without wasting so much time. Let's go ahead and copy this first line, copy and paste it here. After pasting it here, uh, we we'll press enter and we we'll see now it's successful when it, it, it tells you that it is in the auto mode, you have to, to know that it is now successful and this is the second one. You can now update the alternative for the Java C, which is the Java compiler. The first was for Java itself and for this, the second is for the Java compiler. And pay attention when we are doing this, as you can see, my GDK version is now the 17 one. So if you are watching this tutorial by the time when you can see that the GDK is now 19 or 20 or other thing, you have to come and change something here in this command so as to never mess things up. Uh, 
go ahead and press enter and it will tell you the, the same like it was on the above example mm, and after we are done that after we're done doing that we can configure the java home which is very important uh, but before we we install it we have to see if there is no current configuration of the java home we copy this one and paste it here uh, and you, you see there is there's nothing inside here uh, so to configure the java home you will go like this one so let's go ahead uh, so i think we will need this one again this path uh, let's type we are, going, we are going to edit the file that is contained in etc and environment so we're going to use sudo so as to to have the permission to edit that file and get it um, we will navigate to my etc folder and environment folder press enter it will bring up the, uh, the that file inside here so you can edit it okay uh, as you can see i have my path for the first one which is this i will go on the line two and i will type java underscore home i'll put equal and inside here i will put the path but the path will not be the the, the, the full path i will copy up to gdk current version i will do copy i will do paste here uh, make sure there is no spaces otherwise you will be meeting with errors uh, go ahead and press save after it's now saved close this one uh, the other thing that we have to do is to refresh to refresh our environment variable so we type source and we put uh, etc folder and we put environment folder again and to refresh so to verify if our java home is successfully configured we will have to type echo like this one we put the dollar sign and put java underscore home like you wrote on that file you can see now it's it's will return this path so it means you are not success, successful at the beginning of this video this video i was trying to check if there is any current version installed on this uh, ubuntu linux the java version and it was returning us some things like this one and it was asking us to install the java op open gdk so let's test it again let's type java this one slash slash version okay you can see now we are able to see our java configured nice and simple let's check for the java c it's the java compiler java c version boom you can see now we are successful this is how you can install and configure java gdk alongside the java home i hope you guys you find this video interesting and it was very helpful enough and if you did enjoy it don't hesitate to press like and if you're coming on the channel for the first time and you find it interesting and educative go ahead and subscribe and turn on the bell icon to get future videos without any delay peace out